if you've not been out to that part of the world, that it is literally a world unto itself. Taking a cruise from Australia over to New Zealand back in is one, is one thing. Taking a cruise all the way around Australia or halfway around Australia to Perth is a totally different experience. So there's a lot of different options there for a guest to participate in, depending on what their interests are, how much time they have. When you're departing Sydney Harbor, you're looking directly into the Opera House, and you say, I'm standing on Royal Caribbean, and here I am having this totally global experience. I've been living in Perth for the last 30 years, so I am extremely excited to share my hometown and showing our guests the true Australian experience. At the same time, having the opportunity to go into French Polynesia, Fiji Islands, so it's going to have a nice, varied itinerary. The circumnavigation of Australia, you can get to, to, to uh, cruise around the whole continent, uh, and that is not many other ways you can do that, but on a cruise ship. Uh, and going down to New Zealand and the fjords there is a beautiful scenery. Then to get Australia and New Zealand uh, under one is something that you do best on a cruise ship. And whether you're going to Ayers Rock, here Brisbane, or Sydney, Melbourne, it's just fantastic places to see. So one thing is it's worth traveling far to see. You know, really the guests know that they're comfortable with Royal Caribbean, they know the product, they know the service, they know our crew, but yet the ability to take them to places that they can explore, but yet still feel like they're coming home when they come back to the Royal Caribbean ships.